In today's video, we're going to be looking at how high the prey drive is in a French Bulldog. Welcome back to the French Bulldog channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the French Bulldog and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect French Bulldog. So if you're a lifelong Frenchie lover, thinking about getting on or you've just started your journey with your new French Bulldog, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future French Bulldog video. So let's get into today's video where we'll be looking at how high the prey drive is in a Frenchie. Let's start by looking into their history. The Frenchie is derived from Britain's native bulldog, which was much bigger and used for bull baiting. Now, when this was banned in the 1830s, instead of disappearing, the bulldog was kept for its companionship. But over the years, they changed from a dog that was able to grapple with a bull to the compact squash based companion that we are so familiar with today. The fighting nature of the original bulldog was slowly bred out and replaced with an overall personality rooted in a love for human companionship. For an unknown reason, they were extremely popular with the female lace makers. Whilst we're not sure of the reason why, who could really blame them? Whilst they've become one of the most popular breeds of dog due to their affection for their human family members, it's important to remember that all dog breeds have evolved from wolves. Now, it's easy to forget this as the Frenchie is a world away from the wolf, but it's a key to remember that a wolf's survival was heavily dependent on a prey drive for survival. So whilst the French Bulldog was bred and cultivated to become the perfect human companion, their ancestral traits can always remain. It's a classic argument of nature over nurture. All dogs can potentially revert back to basic instincts. But in this video, we're focused on how high that chance is in a Frenchie when it comes to their prey drive. The Frenchie is a companion dog through and through. This little dog much refers to the company of people to being isolated. They are extremely affectionate towards their family, wanting to be part of everything you're doing. Their affection is arguably what has made them one of the most popular breeds today, but it's worth noting that they may become possessive or protective of their owners. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader and then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors so again if you want to check out that course it's completely free of charge the principles of canine behavior there'll be a link down in the description box below and i can't wait to see you over on that course this can sometimes translate into some aggression or, or need to be dominant over any other pets at home. This isn't technically a prey drive, but it is worth noting should you want to introduce them into a home that already has a cat or another small dog. As a couple, you can tackle this possessive nature by training in equal parts and spending as much time with your Frenchie as your partner. But it is up to you whether you want to try and dampen their protective instincts. When training this little dog, be prepared to come across an intelligent pet with a stubborn and mischievous side. Due to this, you may need to remind them on occasion where they are in your family pack, but consistent training should reduce the need for that. Their stubbornness can hinder their training and test your patience. However, for their owner, they will be eager to please. It's always best to discover if your dog is more food or praise orientated early on, so they associate training with the reward they want from a young age. A firm hand is what's going to be needed to train your Frenchie, but harsh correction is unlikely to produce a well-trained dog. French Bulldogs respond best to positive reinforcement. Recall on a stubborn dog can be a task that may take you months or even years to master, but it's worth the effort. Until this is set in stone, I'd be reluctant to let a Frenchie truly off lead. Instead, whilst you don't have 100% confidence in your dog's recall, a long line, simply a lead that can be five to 10 feet, will be your safety net. Recall is the best tool to prevent them from tearing off after a squirrel or a rabbit and a lapse back into hunting mode. Whilst not all Frenchies will display this prey drive, it's always best to be prepared and have the preventative measures in play. As a puppy, once they're cleared to meet and greet other people and other dogs, it's so, so important to socialize them correctly. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean meeting as many dogs and as many people as possible. It's more that they need to explore the world around them in a positive way to ensure that you have a well-rounded dog that's less likely to be reactive. Taking this mischievous little dog into places like cafes and dog parks and teaching them from a young age not to beg or not to charge over to every dog they see is crucial to have a happy life with them. Whilst they're not the most intimidating breed to look at, their stuck-up ears and alert eyes can come across as confrontational body language to another dog. The last thing you want is for them to think that bounding over to all other dogs that they see is good manners. It will get them into trouble should they approach a nervous or reactive dog. Giving them the correct socialisation and letting them know that smaller dogs and other animals aren't something to chase will also help to dampen that need to chase prey. 
Again, this won't always be an issue with French Bulldogs, but it is always best to teach them to respect all breeds of dog, no matter their size. Let's recap on what we've gone through today. Whilst the Frenchie has been cultivated over the years to be your loyal companion dog, their origins and ancestry can make it possible for them to have some level of prey drive. It isn't typically something that's seen in Frenchies, but it is always best to keep in mind that all dog breeds have the capacity to display this behavior. Being aware of their history and their temperament means you can alter their training to hopefully help to control that drive should they start presenting that behavior. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe we have two dedicated French Bulldog videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the French Bulldog channel.